everyone, welcome to another GLG episode. My name is Jason Lovell. I'm Sean Davis. And we are here to talk about video games. Mm. We're going to be talking about a brief bit of news and what we've been playing over the last month. So, Sean, the news. The news item we want to cover today is one that's close to every angry person on the internet's beating heart and that is microtransactions and the foray over um battlefront 2 star wars battlefront, battlefront 2. 2 it's gone tits up isn't it? it's not gone well for them is it so they released the beta and it had this the glimpses of microtransactions are going to be prevalent yeah in the beta it became apparent that the microtransactions were there so people went oh. well they were they i think if i remember correctly because it kind of went over my head a little bit but I, I think that the biggest uh, criticism was that the price of the microtransactions was extortionately high. But you can... So the game's come out and they're there. Sorry? The game's come out now. But, well, the game's out yeah. uh, today, actually, the 17th of November, as we're recording this. But this is the, it, when they released the beta, you could... Um, you could obviously buy these items such as Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, um, weapons, um, but they were very expensive. Or you could unlock them <clears throat> by um, earning like in-game currency. Just being good at it. Yeah, you put a guess so. Um, now, EA obviously listened to this feedback and they then decided to um, relieve, uh, sorry, reduce the cost of these items by approximately 75 percent okay, but they also increased the amount of currency or, or or you know the sort of xp if you like that you earn in the game making it harder sorry they, they increased, increased the, no they increased the amount that you need, need. in order to unlock them via playing mm. the game so i think somebody did the um stats on it and so it turns out Thanks that predators. Sorry, thanks, predators. Exactly, and it turns out that you're looking at like approximately forty hours of gameplay just to unlock one character. So the obviously most um, sorry the most popular characters to unlock are Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. So you're looking at about forty hours per person, and I don't well. really know what they give you. I mean, obviously it's cool being Darth Vader, it's cool being Luke Skywalker. But you can well, they kill streaks, aren't they? Pretty much. Yeah, I mean it's 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 the hero mode, isn't it? So when you're playing uh, online, you you can be that person and you know, dominate essentially. Because um, you can you can obviously be them in the offline mode. And if you play the sort of um, scenario based yeah. sort of wave like um, horde mode type gameplay. You can be those characters, and it ain't, it ain't that. It ain't all that. I'm sorry. Yeah. It is aesthetically brilliant being Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker, but actually, from a gameplay perspective, it's not that amazing. So now they've they've backtracked a little bit now because yes, the, the internet's so gone higher. The breaking news, I, I think, what, yeah. was it today? Yeah, sure. it was today. Is that they have now completely removed it, microtransactions from the game? Not permanently, I don't think. They're... The way, they've well, worded, the way they've worded it, if you read the press release, it's not permanent. So it's just to calm down the nerds for a while, I think. Okay. Let that nerve race Why they figure it out. Why they figure out themselves, look into themselves. But, um, so the question I've got for you then, Sean, <gasps> microtransactions, good or bad? I've only ever spent money in that, in my, in, I've bought DLC before, obviously, but um, Simpsons tapped out, I spent probably about 30 quid on back in the day. See, that's about it. For me, that highlights... Decent game, then. From... I think microtransactions are okay, yeah. provided that the game that they are in is a free-to-play game. They say what? So, like, if you pay for a game, if you're paying forty pounds up front, fifty pounds, whatever the cost of the game is, then I don't think there should be trans microtransactions. Game. Because the world's coped with our microtransactions, you know, in the last well, they started in the last ten years or whatever. The world's coped before, so yeah, we don't need them really. But it's driven Did by James Pond have microtransactions. No, and it was fucking brilliant. Wasn't it, it was brilliant. Mm. But it's driven by it is driven by the mobile market, isn't it? Because that's Farmville really... was a very early game that had yeah. it, and you know mums would be like, oh, and then kids would do it yeah. as well, and yeah. So and then it slowly the slipped into game world started a lot. Yeah, and then it slipped into sort of core gaming. Um, I mean, it's probably always. I mean, you've obviously had 
DLC for years. Yeah, um, DLC. Is you know, most notoriously, the horse armor for uh, Oblivion. <laughs> How much was that? I don't. I don't. It was, it was quite expensive when it. Yeah, then, the horse armor. You know, was. relatively speaking. But and then before that, you had. Well, it wasn't DLC. It was expansions, wasn't it? Expansion packs. Of course, cool, they were quite a big event. But they would give you normally, uh, you know. Not it wasn't buying items that would give you well, shimmer and oblivion for example yeah exactly it would give you more uh, more gameplay more levels more sort of game time um, but now obviously they're just selling you items and I don't think there's anything wrong with skins I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with that if you want to buy something to make you know to pimp up your yeah if your... you're in love for the game if you're a di- I mean, I'm in lo- you know more on this later I'm in love of Call of Duty modern you know uh, modern warfare mm. Mo- and World War Two at the moment so if they released a few little bits and bobs in there I probably would, probably would spend ten yeah. ten hours on that because I'm I'm really into it at the moment yeah exactly but you know, if you're churning games at a rate of knots you should be buying left right and centre I don't think you should be able to purchase items to make you win the game or be better no. at the game especially in an online market like if you're playing it if it helps you beat the campaign mode then whatever that's your problem it's just a cheat code yeah, exactly cheat code because money chunk, exactly you know? but yeah. if it's going to help if it's going to help you beat other online people that are not that's willing to spend the money yeah. um, and you could argue that's their problem if not to spend the money but at the same time it's like when i play fifa and I, there's people that actually spend genuine real money on ebay to buy like Ronaldo and Messi and people like that. Why can't you just get them without paying money? You you can get them, but it's just r- r- extremely rare. So it's like because re- you you basically buy um, you can either buy players in the game with online with the in game currency, but they're like ridiculously expensive. So you'd have to like not buy a player for like months and just save up all your money, or you can buy um, uh card packs and then just hope that you, you just happen to get them in there and it, you can't I mean I've never got a Ronaldo or Messi but I've had like a Gareth Bell before and things like that so it you is. can get these F- names. FIFA is another big one that does it and there are <laughs> u- the usual suspects it's all EA games for a sound of it <laughs> we're just naming EA games that well, have done it EA seems to be um, they then like a giant action mass but, but yeah. our view is a bit iffy and EA seem it's maybe turned a corner so maybe we're seeing we're not experts on it so um, let us know in the comments what you think um, there's going to be some smart ass that wants to call us out and go you don't know nothing about video games mm. you need to read well we read a little bit online before we came on and yeah, fuck, fuck you really think about it fuck so, you in the ear whoever you are that's the way it goes it hasn't happened yet but it's quite a neat segue yeah, really because cool. you want to talk about well okay let's talk about what that's we've been neat, playing that's the neat, I that's the neat segue I've right? been playing uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 because obviously I'm going to draw a line in the sand bit I think it looks shit prove me wrong um, with, with words not with like anything else I, well it's not shit okay. um, a few days ago I dropped a, a, a video on the channel so feel okay. free to go and Check watch it, it out. Um, oh, no. which was the first uh, mission from the campaign mode now this was um, via EA Access so everyone knows you know because obviously the game's out today and I dropped it a couple of days so on EA Access you got access to the online it's and you know, isn't it? the well that's what you pay for in it microtransactions <laughs> but anyway so i got access to the first three missions um and I, I uploaded the first mission um at the start of the campaign mode the the campaign mode is something that i you as, guys all asked for it yeah i was gonna say I, I as a star wars fan wanted it um now that i've got it i'm not sure that i need it um Ooh, that's for it and cried about the, the, it i mean it may it may get better i think the, the thing is i think that what's really disappointing me is star wars is very very popular for its story and although battlefront is a game that is obviously not built on a story it's built no. on gameplay i just think that the story element to the campaign isn't strong enough to make me um want to keep playing it's it very much feels like an extension of the horde mode like we said before where they on battlefront one they had those little quick cutscenes that introduced you to like the horde mode and this still feels like that because when you go around uh, the levels the ai feels incredibly stupid it very much feels like it actually ironically feels a lot like remember rebel assault 2 when the people would just kind of pop out and shoot and then go back and then pop out and shoot and that's kind of what it feels like. It just feels like they're there to be shot. Do you know what I mean? And it's just not It's not great. I mean, we've all, there was all that controversy the other week about how, and I talked about on the last podcast, that um, EA shut down Visceral Games 
who were creating that story driven um, game that was headed by Amy Henning, who did the Uncharted series. That's what we want. We want that story driven. Um, oh, a third person Uncharted S. Yeah, Star yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Please. That would be amazing. Yeah, so that's what we would have preferred as Star Wars fans. We wanted a, a sort of, you know, Last of Us Uncharted style story narrative in the Star Wars universe. Um, and we thought we were getting that with it, the Amy Henning project. That's what we thought we were getting with 1313, which obviously got cancelled. Oh, man, that's so good. Um, and this isn't that. And it's 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 very much just Battlefront with, um, you know, a slight story, but just not a particularly compelling one. I mean, it's quite cool the way that, like, it, it's... What it does do well from a story perspective is it does what I always liked about the uh, 90s Blade Runner game in that it wasn't it wasn't retelling the Blade Runner story it run alongside the, the Blade yeah. Runner story and it was one of those you would go to the same locations but it would be just after or just before Deckard went there for example yeah so for example the second mission on the campaign you go to the um, moon off Endor where the uh, where the rebels like um, Han Solo and Princess Leia have blown up the shield generator for the for the new death the second death star and you get to that shield generator just after they've gone do you know what i mean so yeah. it's almost like you're like, almost like the response team that's been sent there to find out what's going on yeah, yeah. so it kind of works well like that yeah, that's cool. um but you know for full disclosure i've only played the first two missions so it might get better. about five hours of the game there exactly apparently. so i've probably played 30 percent of it so it. um it's fine the, the character's okay it's i'm a little bit disappointed I'm, I'm not the sort of person that wants to play the bad guy all the time, but obviously you are a member of the Empire. and But it's just doing that usual where she's not all bad. Like, she's starting to question orders and be like, mm, you know, maybe we shouldn't, maybe, you know. And it's like, why don't, if you're going to be on the Empire, just be bad. Just be bad. Just kill be someone. like a bad Do person. So, okay. That's the campaign. Multiplayer's the meat, though. Multiplayer the feels, for me, very similar. Um, the dogfight's apparently better, the, the space bit. Yeah, I've, I've only really played a little bit on that, and I, I do think it has improved. I can't really give much comment on it, because I've only played a couple of games, but I did. I found uh, I was having more success on it, let's put it that You're way. You're better at it. Yeah, exactly, so I will give it a thumbs up. But it's just city, you've got all the same on modes, isn't it? Free for all it's the same modes. I mean, the, on, the online, the problem with the online, which we will, we will this this would neat, neatly segue onto our next part. Yeah. Is that it's doing what Call of Duty does, but Call of Duty does it better, mm. and it's come out at the same time. So a bit like Titanfall Two had this problem last year. A lot of people were saying that Titanfall was actually campaign-wise the best shooter last year, but it yeah. was, oh but, God, it, yeah, but, it, yeah. but it was competing with you know Battlefield and Call of Duty, which was you know that probably their worst selling Call of Duty for years. But still, it was just the wrong time to drop that yeah. game. And I think Star Wars is suffering. It's going to suffer from that, and it's going to suffer from the fact that all this controversy. The thing with the Battlefront games is, oh, is it like, oh, I won't labour too much. Is I remember when the first one came out, they 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 released a shell of a game. And the DLC packs were, were amazing. They've just built. They're going to do it yeah. again and build a game around what they've got at the they, moment. They might forget do. the loot loot box and shit. Yeah. The DLC packs are going to add new modes, aren't they? They seem to do that. Well, a they lot. did that last year. They they added. Um, like a, I think like a Death Star level. level. They did well. They um, added new modes, didn't they? they added yeah, everything. I mean, what they did particularly well the first time around is they tied it heavily into um, Force Awakens. So you had that kind of Jakku level. Jakku level, yeah. release it, same for free. And, and that was quite cool. They gave you free maps. Actually. Yeah, and I don't know whether they've done that this time. I mean, one of the things that, one of the, the biggest disappointments about the game is, like I said, playing as the main character, sorry, these sort of heroes, I think it's quite, I find it, quite crap to be honest I mean, first person, I mean the, person, the one yeah. person I was most excited about being was Darth Maul yeah. and you don't feel like you're awesome you feel like you point Darth Maul at somebody and then press the button and off he goes it's like one of those spinning top things because you, mm. you press the button like when you see him doing all that spinning it's not like you've gone spin 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 it's like you've just pressed the special button and he goes he just starts spinning doing acrobatic slices like he does it it's like automated it's just about pressing that power button. You so, need to get more. You need to play it more. And give us another. I do need to play it, it more. Um, get better, oh God. Uh, yeah, I do need to get better. It is. It does feel. It does suffer from. I say suffer because a lot of people will say that this is actually a good thing, a positive. But like with Battlefield, you know, it, Battlefield is a lot less forgiving than Call of Duty, isn't it? And and yeah. this this is the same in in, in that you. you 
you you do feel a lot more grieved when you're shooting the shit out of somebody and they and you get out on call of duty as well but but battlefield i think or you know battlefront essentially is battlefield isn't it? it's the same engine yeah, yeah. but it, it, it you do have to be a lot more accurate and a lot more clever about how you play the game i don't think this is quite you don't need to be as clever as you do with battlefield battlefield 4 was actually a, a quite controversial i think battlefield 4 was the last good multiplayer um from in the series of battle the battlefield games and the Star Wars games so that was you didn't like Battlefield 1 I thought you liked that yeah it was quite good but going, segueing on to what we're going to talk to in a minute it's it's not as good as can't do Call of Duty like Call of Duty does Call of Duty okay Duty. right well on that we're on note, it now yeah we're on it now on that note you and I have been playing something else I'll let World you War 2 Call of Duty World War 2 it came out two two, two Fridays ago I think so yeah. two weeks ago today I think it came yeah. out actually actually and um it reviews have been I thought the reviews to be fair the reviews have been kind of like solid sevens upwards out of ten and um everyone's saying return to form best Call of Duty in a few years um campaign mm-hmm. is okay cliche fuck um it's very Banner Brothersy isn't it silly dialogue yeah, yeah. but I'm I'm doing I mean starting with a single player the, the game's quite quite pretty not as pretty as Battlefield One at all and the detail is not there in, like in Battlefield One I've got to say I think not if we if you ignore um character animations and, and graphics just do more yeah <laughs> yeah i think it's an ugly game i really do like i think texture it, the textures are horrid it's dark, it's dark no color to it either I'm, like i when when you're like right up against it and i'm not one of those people that goes right up on purpose but when you're playing multiplayer and you're, yeah you know, i'm hiding in the corner <laughs> you're looking up against the wall and it's like it's horrible it, do, it doesn't look like a, it's not as good it? as it's not as bad as you might think, but it is all right. I mean, well, Battle, Battlefield One did look good, didn't amazing it? Amazing Battlefield One. Battlefield yeah. One looked good on every black and white TV. It's so good. But um, I think single player looks prettier actually. But it is bleak, and I'm doing single player at the moment. I'm doing it on veteran mode, <laughs> blood and punishment, and all that. And um, yeah, the story's meh. But you quite the character. To be fair, the um, it's just like any other Call of Duty game, really. Apart from there's a few addition of you get a few people around you that you've actually bonded with a little bit in the cutscenes. You can press up and they'll give you ammo or they'll give you. Okay. You know, it's, it, but it's your mate giving you ammo. It's your your buddy that was on the cruiser with you yeah, before yeah, on the yeah. carrier. So single player is okay. Um, checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Josh Doom will tell you off at the end. Checkpoint, the checkpoint. Josh Doom will tell you off again. He's the only main star in it, really. They always get one star, don't they? To to do their mocap and it's Josh Do Hurts to do more yeah whatever i've but not i've not played much of the campaign it's all right is it is it the gore is car- the gore is cartoonish oh, to really? the point where it's a bit like not not disrespectful because obviously people were torn to shreds in the war if you walk on a claim wall your legs go everywhere and actually the only in, in, in a kind of twisted kind of way the only time the game really shows finite details if you um if you stab someone you get blood on your okay blood on your arm and blood on your gun which would happen is, which is what happened if you bayonet at someone in the gut yeah so single player Quite good. Um, pretty difficult on veteran. I'm what? Sure. What? How? Going back, I know I want to make this like my thing, but how do the AI AI's um, perform? Because I'm doing like a veteran, just, it's uh, hard. Cause they're really, really difficult. They just duck and cover. It's just duck and they are just duck and cover. But they won't flank you because yeah. no, I haven't been in a situation when you flank. The only slight issue I've got is like all Call of Duty games, they've got um you can find trinkets, can't you? Yeah. On each map, what they usually call they usually call like, 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 Intel they call yeah, like, in this like a laptop something. or something on Modern Warfare. I mean I'm not the sharpest tool in the box when it comes to deep sometimes concentrating, but there's every mission you do, I'm on mission two, there's two heroic actions you can pull off. Right. I don't know I've on the game on the level I'm three quarters of the way through at the moment, um I've done a heroic action. Okay. I don't know where the hell it was. I don't know if it I don't know what it is, so I don't know what these horror actions are. I don't know how they're not like they're not moments in the game. It goes sort of slow mo. You have got to do a quick button tap to oh, do. Yeah. It's not like a. Like it's not a quick. It's the not, door open. It's not a quick turn. No, I don't know what they are. Okay. Well, so you don't have to do them. It's just kind of like they're in there if you find. They're them. in there somewhere, and I've done one, but I don't know what it is I did. So that's quite interesting. I, I'm trying to think. Oh, there was right. a time where I saved someone in the bunker, but I think I'd already whatever. But multiplayer is the meat of it, and I didn't get the bloody season pass, so I haven't got the extra map that Evan. Catalan, wherever everyone's playing. I didn't know there was an extra map. There's an extra map if you get the paper season. You have pass. to get the season pass. You've to get got it. to buy the season pass, and you get a map called Catalan. It was in. It was That's in, very topical. This is bullshit. I'm it not was happy in, about didn't that. you know that? No. Oh no, it's, it was in Call of Duty Two, and apparently it's a really famous map. I cannot no, remember right. Call of Duty Two, but um, yeah, that was the multiplayer is good. It is boots to the floor. It is really good. But that's good though. I mean, I know it's a cliche thing to boots say, to but it is really good. Man, it, I'm getting some joy out of it. I'm. No, I, I'm, 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 I've got to that point. I'm back. We've, I'm back on board with Call of Duty. I actually, I actually, um, for the first time in years, 
having those moments when one more match one more match you know when you're trying to go to bed and you're like oh, one more match yeah, one more match really you, like, you seven, can't seven, put it down you just want to have one more unlike Battle of Battlefield games which was just slagging off earlier it's just a throw in in game currency I, mean, I hadn't played for um, a couple of days I put it on earlier this morning they gave me 400 credits just yeah. for, you know like they, they just throw it and you open up these loot it's not a microtransaction in sight and these loot crates open up and get so much cool stuff and it's yeah. all each because each weapon's got like 10 cards you've got to collect or and the extra all the you can really modify your characters without spending a penny yeah just no my it's just it makes you want to play more it's so good and the gameplay is crisp people there's only one map i can't remember the name of it where you can the sniper rifles are kind of predominant the rest of it's anti-sniping yeah i'm just admit, good or bad but, 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 but you're it, quite good with a sniper rifle aren't well you? what i will say as a caveat is that i'm not normally great with a sniper mm. rifle um it's not normally my weapon of choice like when i used to play modern warfare i was all about the scar the scar was my gun I used scar's to good scar. yeah obviously not in this um, game but. the next one i was sorry the only one other call of duty i i seem to be really good sniping on was advanced warfare which was random because that was one where everyone was diving all over the place and i happened to just be good i don't know but that was a sledgehammer game as well wasn't it if i'm wrong i believe so so I don't know whether it's something to do with their Maybe. snipering. But I'm loving, I'm loving the different. You know, you have that mix, and the, what you can have one perk, and it you can really, really modify yeah. your perks for each map. There's a map that's really similar to the boat level in Black Ops Two, which I quite enjoy. The USS Texas. I like that. Yes. That's my favourite map. map. I got some good snipes on that one. Really good map. And it's open. It's 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 that old Call of Duty style map where it's. It's got the close quarters bit in the middle, yep. but then around it you've got the lanes where you can yeah. take up snipe positions and you can have open oh, areas. It's really deep, and I think it's going to get better. The DLC, there's hint. I've been going on a lot of forums and things, and there's talk of gun game maybe getting into it because it's a favourite of mine. I don't think you have mentioned it. I'm wishing, I'm wishing gun game will come along. You know, we need a party mode, surely. Just let's have a game. Do I remember this? Is that I haven't played a Call of Duty game since Black Ops Three, really. Um, I've had a missed a few. I didn't really play Black Ops that much, so it's. Do they do party games on the Call of Duty type ones? What do you mean by party games? Um, the Black Ops games have party modes where it's got, you know, sharpshooter, one in the chamber, um, gun oh, game. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Um, I don't know if they've done one of them for a while, to be mm, honest. I don't, well, they, they're, they're talking in the forums, are they? they might gimmicky ones, aren't they? They might introduce some new modes. Uh, we have not played Zombies yet, so we cannot even pass comments. No, I, I don't know why I haven't played, because I don't mind zombie don't games, like zombie. but I just have, do you not like them at all? Who's the sleds in this one? I don't know, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah. I haven't got to that point yet. I haven't but. played it. We haven't played it. But yeah. the game is good. Really enjoy it. And um, I think it's just going to get better <laughs> and better online, really. So, Sean, you've been playing Free For All, haven't you? Yes. Is that your favourite game mode? Yeah, because I think, and I'm not trying to sound arrogant, I think it's the mode that shows you if you can do well at that, you're a good player. Team Deathmatch, you can get a few scrapes here and there, get a few crossfires, like assists, and you, you go up the, you go up the leaderboard, you know, kill confirm, you can just skank tags, which is, is a skill in itself, to be fair. Uh, same with Capture Flag and Gridorian mode, which I haven't played yet. But free for all, yeah, you can get points from getting crossfire kills, which is quite a good addition, actually. You can get kind of assists even you're on your own, lone wolf on it. But I think it's the ultimate test of skill, and I have started winning free for alls i'm good i've noticed that i had a go at free for all after we talked about you playing it Being good and i got battered yeah, so i'm bad. not a free for all player what do you think of the war mode i've done it yeah it reminds you too much of the shitty modes on battlefield that used to stress me out um it's all right i mean what's it, it like um it's it's kind of like a it reminds me <clears throat> a little bit of you know the rush mode on battlefield where mm. you kind of almost pushing, you, you know, you you've got one team that's kind of defending, one team that's attacking. Yeah, and, wasn't and isn't there a few issues back. with the difficulty though? And apparently, it's very much in the favour of the, de the defender. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, a lot of people um, are playing this, and they need to tweak it a bit. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I I, I mean, basically, it's almost like there's one map where you start off, um, sort of defending this building, and then when you get pushed back, you get to within more buildings where there's a bridge, and you've got to they've got to get to this bridge which has been blown up and they've got to start build, rebuilding the bridge oh. while you you know so as a sniper you kind of sit in the window watch them trying to build the bridge and you just start picking them off and all that sort of stuff so it's a bit more like a bridge too far type thing you know that's interesting so oh, we'll give it a go i like free four days in. you do you do i've only really played team deathmatch um <clears throat> uh like i said i haven't played um any of the others like kill Kill Confirm is quite popular. I, like I, 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 I don't mind it, but I don't, you know, it's one of those. I just don't think the people I play with tend to play it. So we it's just, really good call, man. We don't get rounds for it. Um, I was a bit disappointed going off of multiplayer for a minute, but I was a bit disappointed that the campaign is not co op. 
Because I'm sure in the PR leading really? up to it, they were insinuating that it was going to be a co-op experience. Right, that's not why they leading up to it. So that's I mean, disappointing. They, they, the thing that peed me off was Modern Warfare 3 had Spec Ops mode, and the best modes of a yeah. game I've ever played. Better than Zombies 8, and they've never really brought it back. No, that, that was could have worked so well in a World yeah. War 2 game. Yeah, because that obviously all started with on on Modern Warfare Two. They had the plane level, wasn't it? Yeah, you know where you. Spec Ops is just such a great mode. I can still play it now. But um, future of Call of Duty. Now they've they've done what they we've always we've been asking them to do it for years. They've delivered on it. Is that the end of the series now? They, they can't go and release another spacey type flying bouncing off walls one. They're going to go mental. They can't do another World War Two one because they've done the greatest hits in war. I think they're done. Do you know? I was about to say that. Really? I, I reckon they will. Cause I, no, don't don't for a second think that they will not rinse this till we die. They won't do they won't do another Moonraker space run, will they? Or will they? Um, a new advanced. I, I don't think one. so. Not unless they they actually spin off spin it off. Do you know what I mean? As a separate they've series. They've got they've got a year or two's worth of mileage to to release Modern Warfare Two Remaster. Um, That's got to happen, isn't it? Surely, it is, isn't it? But I, I mean, do you know what I'd like to see them do? I'd like to see the, um, Call of Duty the greatest hits, Falklands. Have a quick little map of the Falklands. Well, I'm sorry. Vietnam. Yeah. The Crimean. What, Great Cities of the War? Yeah. <laughs> Great Cities of War. What other wars were there? Stars. Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. It's a bit of a battlefield. Oh, yeah, they've done that. <laughs> just do all that. Great Cities of War. Falklands, just, you know, pissing around on a Windsor Island. That would be, that you, you saying that, that would be interesting to see it tackle the more sort of understated conflicts. Be a bit crap, I think. Yeah, maybe the greatest hits of war. Not, not quite. I don't, I'm not saying that they, they should actually do that. But I mean, right, I've just coined my names. They can't. But like you said, I mean, I'm sure, nobody from Chippenham has just coined it. But the t- I mean, I know it's not the same team anymore. Um, you know, Infinity Wars moved on. Well, I mean, it exists, but it's not the same people anymore. Yeah. Obviously, they've moved on to respawn. But um, that sort of you, you now that you've mentioned like the Falklands or something like that, Falklands, it, no. it, it would be interesting if you might Iraq, like Iraq you know you know the, the infamous level from um, Call of Duty Four, which is the um, all glued up. Which one is that? That's the one where it shows the flashback of. I'm gonna get this wrong because the fanboy is gonna rip me a new one, but I think it was Captain Price, and you go back to like a flashback of him, and he's doing the um, the the level in Chernobyl. Giddy's in the mist. Yeah, it's called all gilded up. Oh whatever, yeah. Get all yeah, all gilded up. Yeah, Giddy's in the mist. Where's Giddy in the mist? Giddy's in the mist. You're thinking good of. film. <laughs> it is a good film. Harrowing. Good but, um, at the end. Um, Giddy's in. The... Oh, it's because on um. This is going off on a tangent now. On um, like Nat Geo channel, they've got like a Giddy's in the mist week. There we, into it. there we go. Um, but yeah, that if you could get like a Falklands type level in yeah. that in that in Winter that. Pissy or even like oh mate, this could Iraq. this. I tell you, I tell you what, Denang this this, this could be controversial, and I don't know how they handle it. Although they do movies on it all the time, the troubles. No, Jason. No, seriously, honestly, if you could do like the occupation of um, Northern Just Ireland or something in the seventies, Northern Ireland state. Yeah, but they could take Throwing petrol onto each other. <laughs> yeah, Bloody Friday. No, they that would be yeah, epic. Touch that. They, yeah, but they do it in a movie, so why not in games? They could right, do it. Yeah, right. it's, a letter, it's DLC. You heard it here first. DLC I'm from first. Sean Davis's Call of Duty Greatest Hits of War. If you're from Northern Ireland, comment below and tell us what you think. Whether you think that that, that would be distasteful or whether it'd be interesting to see. You know, because there was a film. Um, I can't remember. 71. What, that's the one. Because yeah. that was. That was Fucking decent film. That was. That was when Jack O'Connell was going to be someone, though, isn't it? What's happened to him? This guy. He's not dead though, is he? He's not dead. He's not dead, but he's <laughs> allegedly he's dead to me. What, no. what has happened to him? He just had a, he had one of those years where he just didn't make it. Jack Connell, by the way, is an actor who was in seventy one. He was in Stardust, which is fucking quality. I think what he'll... killed him is working with Angelina Jolie. Joe, he's doing that really subpar war film. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? That holds him because Stardust yeah. was the prison. So he's still on that it? boat, just like. I know what you mean. It, he was. He was almost like I don't know why in my mind I compare him to him, but it almost felt like he was the next. Tom Hardy type yeah I mean? Tom Hardy Ray Winston yeah. British angry man but yeah. we've gone off a right tangent we have this is right. the movie one so we bring it back I love Call of Duty I think it's better than Battlefield 2 Battlefield 2 Battlefront Battlefront whatever it is better than Battlefront 2 is it better than Battlefield yeah, 1 yeah Battlefield 2 that worked yeah is, okay. it better than, is it better than Battlefield 1 Battlefield was gas do you think they're going to release Battlefield 2 and it's going to be World War 2 I can't horses bolted <laughs> what do you mean what Call of Duty beat them to it 
Yeah, but we could out out war them. Maybe. Yeah. So my my war's better than yours. So many to do the Pacific. They can do the Pacific. They are battlefield people. Yeah. Okay, dokey. Wow. So, have you been playing anything else before yeah. we? Uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. But do you care about that? Probably not. Do you? Because you're just too self involved. All of you. I have your, ne- your next next gen games. Although I haven't been playing it yet, I do have Wolfenstein Two sat on the shelf upstairs. So I have thing. installed it. Just haven't played it yet. So good things. Bonkers um, things. Oh, I have played. <laughs> I have played some more Hitman. I didn't play it for ages. I played a level called Sapienza, and it was epic. In fact, before we go, I'm going to tell you about how it went because you, I'm, I'm convinced you'll like this game. Because what I, like, what I always say I love about Hitman is the different ways you can kill people, right? So a few months ago when I was playing Hitman, I if you can hear that, that's my dog slurping water. Cheers, Hogan. He's really getting involved with that. Fucking hell, he's like smashing his face into the water, hoping it would just go inside it. And his ears stuck in there. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Anyway, so. He's getting involved. Sapienza. It's a level in which you have to make your way onto sort of a... Um, a mansion estate kill a mansion. yeah kill um a guy there's a lot of staff on this level they're, they're <laughs> everywhere they're everywhere right <laughs> so you have to go in there and you have to kill kill the the owner he's um i can't remember if it's his wife or his mistress this woman that works with him he's basically like a guy who is um he's created a dna based um like pathogen that can can murder anybody so it's it's, it's a way to assassinate people but target that person via the DNA, and obviously you work for the um, uh, you know, uh, uh, hitman agency. Who's like, well, that's probably not good for our business, so we need to put an end to that. So anyway, I played it a few months ago, and, and I just kept dying, and I just couldn't seem to figure out the best way to do it. And then I played it the other day, and it just seamlessly worked. Do you know what I mean? Like I just went through it. So this is how it worked. So I came up and start off. I'm hitman in my nice summary clothes because I'm in like Italy or something like that where's Sapienza is that a real place sounds like Italy Italy it's not like a fake Italy place it'll do so sat in the apartment reading my paper okay and then I look over and I notice that there's this woman shouting it like into this guy on the balcony saying you know you're going to be late for your first day working in the uh, kitchens blah 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 and he's like don't worry about it blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm like right that sounds uh, interesting so I make my way over to like his apartment some person's coming out the door, so I slip in while they, the door's open, go upstairs, uh, pick lock, go into his apartment, and uh, he's there still chandering on the fucking uh, balcony, and I found his chef uniform, so I stuck it on, go to his back balcony, which overlooks the estate, jump down on the roof, jump down, run round, make my way into the kitchens, introduce myself to the chef, and I'm like, you know, because obviously, I don't know if you've actually played Hitman games, but he's got like the most robotic voice ever. And he's like, hi, I'm the new kitchen hand. And he's like, nothing suspicious about this and just shows me where they cook. So I'm there and he says, yeah, make sure, go and kick, cook the sauce for the pasta or whatever it is. And then ring the dinner bell so that the um, uh, then the, the big boss man will come for his dinner. And I'm like, cool, so I've not, you know, I know what's going on here. So I run and look for some rat poison or something, which is the usual Hitman <laughs> There's thing. There's poison hanging around. Yeah. And I went into the uh, kitchen and I found expired tomato cans. So, like, gone off tomatoes. So I thought, okay, that's interesting. So I take it back in, open it up, chuck it in the sauce, cook it up real good, go up, ring the bell, bing, 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 and he comes out. I'm like, okay. So I watch him eat his food. And he's like, oh, it's, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, grab this. So uh, he eats the food and then he stands up and he's just like, you know, his stomach's going, and he's like, so he runs it's around the side. And then you put on like almost like the detective mode type thing, which every game's got now from Batman. Yeah. And um, he's glowing in red, and I can see him like stood at the edge, obviously being sick. So I'm like, cool. But I can't get around to him because his guards are still there. Yeah. So I climb in through the window, run in through the private bathroom, uh, through the apartment, come out the other side. It's like an apartment part of the mansion. So I come outside and I see him there being sick. So I run over to him and uh, just give him a little shove. Boo! Off the really? side he goes, dead. Boosh, one down. So then I got to go and kill his girlfriend. So I'm like, right. So I go back into the apartment bit. Luckily, I just happened to find on the side some flowers, and I thought they look a bit, you know, prominent. So I thought that must. Be. So I go over and interact with it. Find a, like a love note for his um from her lover, who's the golf coach. So I'm like, cool. So I'm like, I got to go and find this golf coach because obviously I'm gonna to pretend to be the golf coach. So and then obviously meet up with her. So I run over and I see the golf coach, right? So he stood there and he's doing like a, like, this is the only annoying thing about this game, is he's doing like the cycle, you know? Walks over there, says something, walks back here, says something, so I can see, right, that's his path. 
Right? Do they not know the guy's dead at this time? No. They're obviously looking for him. Like, <laughs> <he's supposed laughs> to be sick. It isn't that smart, the AI. It's just like, so, I, so I run over and um, uh, I, 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 I fail a couple of times at trying to like, get him in a headlock and stuff. And they're like, everyone's like, oh, what are you doing? So I'm like, okay. So I Because there's just one guy stood there smoking. I'm like, how do I get him? So I find this crowbar. I'm like, okay. So I throw the crowbar. It makes a noise, and the guard turns around. And he's like, "Oh!" But he doesn't ever quite leave. He's just like, "Oh!" And then, and then he turns to me, and he's like, "Hey, stop doing that!" And I'm like, oh, "All right, just, I love what I'm you getting." You see me doing that, so I go and pick the crowbar up again, and I'm like, "Maybe I've got to throw it a bit further." Then, as I turn to throw it, the reticle accidentally like hovers over his head, and it turns into like a circle. And I'm like, "Hmm." So I just go, woof, 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 poof, hits him on the head. He's just on the floor, out cold. And then the bloke, the um, the the. Uh, Gold coat turns around like, oh my god, and he's just about to raise the alarm. So I run over to him, get him a headlock, and choke him out, take his clothes, pick up his phone, and I'm like, cool, okay. It says like, ring the go- the, the lover. So I'm like, ring, 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 and it's like, again, it was important earlier when I mentioned how monotone <laughs> because bear in mind I'm supposed to be the golf coach, and it's like, he's like, hey, it's me, we're meeting our usual place, and she's like, okay, can't wait to see him. Like, have you not noticed I sound nothing like the Italian golf coach? <laughs> Oh, absolutely bizarre so then I run over to the bedroom and then I go and like it's all dark in there some candles I put the radio on so the music's playing I go sit in the chair in the corner like Arnold Schwarzenegger in True Lies True Lies yeah. True Lies so I'm sat there like waiting you know like <laughs> and then she comes in and she starts telling me how she's gonna like you know, do bad stuff to me Jesus. and then she gets a phone call so she's like oh okay I need to um, to go so before she gets a chance I run over break her neck she's done put her in a box shut boom mission over no, it's not mission over. Now they want me to go destroy this this pathogen that's down in in the underground lab. Or wasn't there a lab? Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then I have to run down. I run to where the um, <clears throat> still just as Gold Coast. Nobody's suspicious because Gold Coach is just running around. Looks completely different than he did yesterday. But never mind. Must be a new Gold Coach. <clears throat> you take two sw- two shots off your, your streak. You know, two strokes off your uh, game and all that. Anyway, so I go down to find where you have to. Uh, uh, make your way to the lab the entrance to the lab and there's a guard sat there um, like just like with a radio listening to music he's drinking wine or something <laughs> not as you do and then um, there's this like scientist like wince, like mincing around so I'm like okay obviously I've got to go and get his lab coat so I go around take the breakers out the electric the guard goes well I'll go and have a look so while he's doing that I run over choke out the uh, scientist take his clothes chuck him in a box Run, Where take, are all these boxes? These human, yeah, I know. Like, they're, human just, they're, just, they're, just, they're just conveniently placed all around. So like, it's just garden storage, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so I run over and I uh, I um, take the pass off the desk as well. So I run over and then I try to go in the door and they're like, oh, you know, you can't come in here without being patted down. So luckily I've got nothing on me because I, for some reason, this is what I mean when I said this just went smoothly because when I was setting up, I went, I'm just not going to put any weapons on me. I'm just going to go in no weapons and just use whatever I find. Luckily, because if they pat you down and found a gun, then you, then it's game over. So, I let me in. I run down there, <clears throat> make my way. I have to climb down again. I had to climb. I couldn't figure out how to get down to the next bit, so I had to climb down this pi- like pipe thing. And the guy with the gun just stood the gun. Hey, stop doing that! He's like, he doesn't <laughs> shoot me or anything. As soon as I'm out of sight, he's like he's forgotten and got amnesia. I'm like, oh yeah, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was just patrolling. Stop doing that! They see me patrolling. <laughs> and uh, anyway. So then, at this point, the only people that sort of like um, seem wary of my appearance are the sort of oh, they look like almost like the line management of the scientists, right? <laughs> so I stay out of their view. I sneak into the um, sort of science like port cabin thing, which has got one of those kind of um, I don't know what you call them, but they're almost like the movie tropey like uh, plastic tunnel. That makes its way into the main lab. Do you know what I mean? Like on Thor, you know, remember Thor, the first one where he's yeah. like, anyway. So I make, I go into there, and I have to put on one of those like hazmat suit things, going through the, like the water purification. So I go in there, and there's there's four guys in these same suits walking around. Right, there's one on the machine over there, one on the machine over there, one in the middle, looking at the thing, which is what I need to to destroy. And then one bloke that just keep again he's on a loop he just walks in walks out <laughs> so i'm like right <clears throat> i've got to figure out how to do this so i go over to the guy on the left and i fuck around with his like machinery and it all plays up so he's like oh so it gets distracted then because he's like trying to figure it out <laughs> and then i go over to the other guy and mess up his same thing and the one guy who's walking in and out i run out into the tunnel 
choke him out and just leave him. Like he, he's just sat in the purification thing and he's constantly going off. Like, <laughs> water's going on. Doesn't wake him up, so it's like fine, no problem. So I walk back in there and I try a few things. I think, well, he's distracted. He's distracted. So I grab the guy in the middle, choke him. They get alerted. Game over. So I reload it. I'm like, right. How am I supposed to do this? So after a few trial and error moments, like there's this weird arm thing that you can pick things up, and move them around. Turns out I didn't need it. I don't even know what it was for, but I spent a good 20 minutes trying to figure it out. And it turned out that it was obviously just an option because I found, this is what I love about the Hitman game, is that when you can't get these things to align and work, you can just improvise. So then I was like, right, I figured out that if I do this quickly, I've got my own method. And that was, I got one guy here by the door, one guy in the middle, one guy over there. So I run in, first guy, punch him, hits the deck. The other guy turns around, punch him, he hits the deck. And then I run over, the other guy turns around, punch him, hits the deck. So all three of them are out cold. Run into the middle. I've got to turn the aircon off and then turn the heating up or turn the power up or whatever. And then it sets on fire. And then I run out, jump into a biplane, fly off into the sky, mission complete. What a great game. I love this game so much. That sounds, that sounds more fun to watch or listen to than play. Yeah, yeah exactly. You should, you should I'll play watch it, you mate. play it. You should play it. Maybe we should record it. Maybe we should record that. God. Mission. <laughs> but that was... Like, and I was like, this is why I love it, man. Because I bought it. I, for ages, I wanted to play the single, uh, this um, yeah. season one. Bought the season, season one pass. <clears throat> played the first two free missions or whatever it was. And I kind of got bored and I moved on. And then... That's the best level on this so far. That was like Sounds old school good. Hitman. Yep, I enjoyed that. I'll try and get some gameplay footage to chuck on the video when I upload yeah, it. Yeah, I want to watch you play it. But uh, that's what you've been playing. <clears throat> so that is all we've been playing, Sean. Nothing else to talk about. Nothing to you. But uh, I hope you enjoyed my Hitman story, Sean. Really no like, love that game. I like, I like your like story. It's a game. I'm going to watch you play it one day. It's the way you tell them. It's the way you tell them. Bye-bye.